Hi there, in this video we are going to see how you can create a satisfaction app for a tablet. So a satisfaction app to me looks like a bit like uh, what you can see on this given screen. It's just that uh, it's uh, within a within a tablet. So in order to uh, do so, all you need is just to install App Inventor 2. I strongly advise you to install it instead of uh, going on the uh, website such as I'm doing here because in order to use the MIT website, you need to have a Google account, which is uh, somehow not uh, that good for privacy uh, reason. In my case, I just did it for uh, convenience, but I should have installed it on, uh, on my computer. So uh, the basic idea of this video is just to explain you how you can create uh, something like, uh, like this. Um, so just to tell you it straight where how you can go faster uh, by doing this exercise. Uh, you can just go over here, click on connect, and then uh, you click here on AI companion, and then you can link, in fact, uh, directly your tablet to uh, your um, mobile development here on the platform. Uh, just to show you that here I have my uh, tablet, which is uh, right here on the screen that you can uh, that you can see. And uh, what is very useful is when this tablet is connected to the uh, platform, it means that every modification that you're going to make here on the app will be straight away modified on uh, the tablet. So there are many different ways that you can tackle um, this, uh, this exercise. I will say the first uh, one will be to put uh, your tablet in a landscape position. So in order to put it in a landscape position, you just need to click here on screen one. And then uh, you need to indicate that uh, this is a screen orientation in landscape. And then you need to, add, to have two screens. So in order to add a screen, you just need to click here on add screen and then uh, you will name the screen as you want. In my case, I decided to name it uh, uh, results. Then uh, what you need to do is, of course, uh, to divide your screen into different uh, shapes, let's say. So um, this is what you do when you pick up all those components which are made of layout. Uh, so for example, here you have one layout which is here and I have another layout uh, which is here like this. Uh, you know exactly how much uh, size is going to take over here and how much is going to take over here and in order to define all this out and in fact for the shape that you are choosing here you can uh, adjust and say okay uh, how much weight and how width it's going to be and save stuff here okay uh, in order to add a title such as this one all you need to do is just to pick up a label over here and to drag and drop uh, it like uh, like this okay so that's what i did here if you want to delete it like I, i'm doing here you just need to click here on delete um, and then here uh, is just some extra layout that I add within this uh, given layout, as you can uh, see over here. Then each button that you can see here, nothing more than a button. And for each of those buttons, I have included a PNG file, which I did myself in Inkscape. Uh, so each of those circles represent one smiley. So of course, uh, you can make a better smiley. So in my case, I don't have any face. It's just the color in itself. And um, once uh, you have done so, okay, uh, what you need to do is just to include what we call a web uh, component because the web component is in fact needed if you would like to record the different value, like very bad, bad, okay, uh, good, and very good. In my case, I'm using uh, the web uh, component in order to send an HTTP request to a Matomo server, which is uh, the database, in my case, hosting the different value. Then regarding the coding part, okay, how can I um, make, in fact, my uh, visitor going from one click here to my next uh, screen, which is the results one. Uh, all I need to do is just to click here on blocks and to define the different component that I expect. So in my case, if uh, she or he click on the button, which is called very bad, then we're going to send an HTTP request. So in my case, send the HTTP request to my Matomo server with the different value that I want, and then it's opening another screen, which is the screen results, okay? And here's just basically a copy and paste of all the different buttons. Then uh, what I have up here is uh, for the results uh, screen, as you can see, it's nothing more than a screen uh, with a label uh, on which I wrote, uh, thank you, have a great day. And here I added as well a clock uh, because the clock, I took it in a sensor because what I want is um, I want my clock 
uh, to fire every five seconds because I consider that after five seconds I want my uh, visitor to go back to screen number one in order to avoid people who may click abusively on uh, one smiley many times in order to biased my statistics. And so this is what I have over here when the screen opens, it's sending a new uh, request saying that the screen has been opened. And then I have a clock which uh, will trigger something after five seconds, which is defined uh, over here. And as a result, it will go back to the home screen. So this is uh, all I have regarding my app. Then if you want to inject it uh, within your Android uh, app, uh, all you need to do is to click here on build. You will get an APK that you just need to uh, download and install on uh, on your app. And just to show you how it looks like, so if I go uh, now on the screen and uh, let's read this one. So as you can see, I have my uh, I have my tablet which is here. If I want to click on uh, good, for example, then it's uh, redirecting me to this given page and thank you. Have a great day. And after five seconds then it's going to go back uh, to screen number one. So uh, this, is, uh, this is how it works, so nothing, uh, nothing very fancy. And uh, in fact, how the data are then sent, so this is the purpose of another tutorial that I will do about mobile analytics, but uh, here is how uh, the data look like. Uh, as you can see, it's sending the information that someone was on the satisfaction screen then uh, went on the result screen and uh, the value that he or she assigned was, was good. And as a result, for example, here I'm in Matomo, uh, this way I want to analyze the data. I can then uh, after get uh, all those data sent uh, to my Matomo and I can make, uh, for example, some uh, pie chart or uh, anything else uh, like, uh, like this in order to analyze uh, better how people uh, acting with my given satisfaction tablet. And that's it uh, for today. So uh, as, a, as an exercise, try to create your first app on App Inventor 2. And as usual, do not hesitate to create your own videos and share them on social networks.